BTAG or document designer is a tool that allows users to create interactive proposals, quotes, invoices, or any other forms. For example, let's take a look at this opportunity that we have, and we're going to try and send, delete the proposal that we created. So if we click to document designer, we have ability to export as a PDF and email it directly, or we can send it via email, which will also include the link that the lead will be able to click and open it for them to review the entire proposal. Instead of sending an email, I will just click to see as if the recipient would open it, and this will be able to demo the functionality of it. So first, we have our proposal. We have our sales. This, is, this comes from the user information. This is from the proposal, the date. It was prepared for Ben. That's our lead their organization. So all the information is merged from VTiger into this document. As I scroll down, this is our cover page. We have our company's information down below. It's just a lot of details about our company. We have our development process, implementation training, and we can use the shortcuts here to go from one section to another. And as we go down the list, we have our pricing. So this pricing is pulled either from the opportunity, quote, invoice, sales order, or any module that you have set up in VTiger. And down below, we have accept and sign, which allows us to sign the document. If I was the lead, I can put in the date that I want the project to start, the payment method that we do, down payment, how they want contacted, and I can then sign this document by simply clicking accept and it'll ask me to input the signature the name and as I hit accept and sign then this document will get digitally signed the user VTAG user will get notification the copy will be sent to the lead who signed the document we can see the signature and then the signature is stored as well on our signed copy in VTiger um, in addition, they can decline it, and we have ability to add notes that would be special notes for this proposal, and as well as static documents. So the proposal, quote, and presentation, those can be such as your terms or any uh, additional product information that doesn't need to be included on the actual proposal, but can be attached as separate documents. If we go back to our opportunity. I'll close this email window and then under sign document section we can see that the document was opened and signed on a certain day. And then you can also click to download the signed copy and print it as needed. So that's an example for the opportunity. This was more elaborate document. Next let's take a look at more simple use case which say would be a quote. So if I go to my quotes, I'll open a sample quote. And then again, we have the document designer button. We can click on it. We can either create a PDF. And let's see how that works. It prompts me to download the quote. If I open it, it just basically gives me the PDF of that quote. If I go back to my screen, if I do send it via email, the, again, the recipient can click to open the link or for testing purposes, we'll click to open the actual quote online. And then again, the recipient can see the information merged from the quote organization and the quote details again. They can accept, they can click to request more information, which will then trigger notification to VTiger user. And then again, we have attachments that are static documents. Same applies to sales orders, invoices, purchase orders, or any other module that you can think of. You can create similar documents or completely different and customize your buttons, your layout, your text, what goes on the proposal or a document, as well as attach those attachments and add notes. Lastly, I would like to show you the form that we created for the contact updates. So in addition to creating amazing documents. This document designer also allows to create interactive forms. We saw that a little bit in the opportunity proposal where we're able to select the payment method, the start date, etc. But in this case, I'm going to open this contact record. And if I go to details, 
I can see the phone numbers, email address, address, um, and a few other fields. So now if I were to hit the document designer button, I can email this contact and say, we're doing a checkup, we need you to provide additional information. And that's what I have in my email body. They would then click on this link and it would take them to this form that was created by document designer. What they can do then is they can update their information, for example, phone, address. So if I were to put in city, state, and say zip, and once I hit submit, this will then update the information directly into vTiger. So it basically eliminates you asking your customers or potential customers to send information via email, spreadsheets, Word documents, but instead you just create the form like this, send them via email, and then once they submit it, this information then gets automatically populated in vTiger records. So if I go back to my contact, I'll close this window, and say if I hit details again, that will refresh my screen and we can see that the other city is now Chicago, Illinois and the zip code and then under touch points you can see when and who updated that information. So it's a very convenient way to request for more information. This was created on the contact record but it applies to any other vTiger module. So now let's take a look at the actual back end of the document designer. So under projects, document designer, we then have the templates that we just looked at. So the opportunity proposal, the quote, the invoice, sales order, and the contact form we just looked at. So let's take a look at the, the proposal. So I'll just click on it. And this is where you would actually design your form, document, or proposal. As you can see, this has already been designed and up above you have uh, some of the most popular formatting options, images, text, etc. And in addition, on the right, you have ability to drag and drop in any elements that you would need. So let's just scroll through this proposal. So we saw the user information merged on the document. This was the contact information. This was the account information. And as I keep going down, we have the static text about our company. This can always be changed on the document, we have an image added, the process, and if we keep scrolling down, we'll see the references and pricing details. That's our pricing table. And lastly, the fields that the user was able to modify, basically put in their start date, down payment, etc. So that's where all of these values reside. So say if you wanted to add an additional heading to this document, you would simply drag and drop this element and put in it's that simple you can also just drag and drop the text text goes here um, you can also drag and drop images you can just select browse to a server upload your own image and just put in that image as needed this is a pretty small image, but um, and then pricing tables, regular tables, you can just drop the table in, right click, add additional cells, add additional columns, do the properties, and basically customize the table to fit your needs. And then within the table, you can put in any of the fields. So now if you say if you wanted to merge information from your VTiger, so this is for the opportunities. So if I go to my properties, it says this is the opportunity module. So then what we take is, say, for example, payment method. That's basically just a custom field on the opportunity. I click on it. I put my cursor, insert, and then the next time this document is opened, it would merge the payment method from the opportunity. And all of the other fields are available here as well. You can put an amount, name, expect a close date. Any other field for the primary module can be merged on this document. In addition, we have related modules, say organization, users, context. So each primary module has its own related modules, which makes it very easy to use. Um, in addition, under the field section, we can add interactive elements, such as checkbox, date, so where the user will be able to check this checkbox or set a date, date and time. They can also initial 
their document. For example, down below we have towards these agreement terms we have initials where we want the user to initial just to make sure they understand the agreement. And you can make these initials mandatory by just clicking on the French icon and just say let's make mandatory and then when the document is generated before they can sign they have to put in their initials. And then you can put in the text field. So by putting in the text field what you can do is um, this allows you to make the field editable. Basically what we saw in this document where the user was able to select the start date and the payment. So when we first drop in this text box, we then need to select which field we want to allow to edit, say, let's say it's a start date. We'll do an insert and then this value gets put in into this text area box. And to make it editable, you would just click on the wrench icon and then you can either allow the user to change the value or not. By default, the text field is editable and that's what we'll leave it to. Um, next, we have the, the email. So this is the email pop-up which opens up when you try to send the document and you can predefine the text so you don't have to put it in every time you send the email. And you also have your link here which can actually be retrieved from under other information you can just take this and insert into your email and we'll put the link will then automatically merge as it gets sent. Next under general order, we have a few options so remember we showed you the accept and decline or um, subscribe button so if I switch back to this document real quick you see the accept and decline so what those two buttons do you can change the name of those two buttons to say whatever you like. In addition, you can then set what happens when this button gets clicked. So in this case, we want to say update the contact method to be phone when they accept the quote. This is just an example. And the same thing for the client. Ideally, what you want to set, if it's the client, you would set your stage to close loss. So you don't have to go in and manually adjust that. And based on the update, you can then trigger the workflow to send you an email saying that this proposal was declined. And then we have the static notes, and we can attach the static documents as well here. In addition, we can integrate with authorize.net, which will be covered in another video. Um, lastly, we have theme, and what this allows us to do, you can see in the background we have an image, and you can select an image or just leave it as plain. We figure that will give a nice touch to the documents once you're sending to your customers. And lastly we have history where you can kind of go from one stage to another and revert back if you did changes that you want to undo. So you can simply just select a version that will restore to the earlier version of the document that you've been working on. And that's basically a summary of document designer. One more thing I would like to show you is if we go to our document designer and say look at the quote document, I want to show how simple it is to change the item details section. So in this case we already have the item details with the quote. So down below you can see we have the product item name, common quantity. So for the time being I'll just remove it. And then this is our pricing table, which is available on invoices, quotes, sales orders, and purchase orders. So if I drop that in, it gives me a predefined format. But I what I can do in addition to that is click on the wrench. And I can select from available fields what should be included as columns. And in addition, I can select what I want to show as totals on the document or the PDF when it gets generated. And I can pick a theme color as well as I hit OK. This gets updated and you can always go back in, change it, change the columns or the color as well. And, and that's pretty much it for the document designer.